So look, bro. <clears throat> what up? Uh, happy Yonder to everybody. Y'all be asking me what Yonder mean. All right. Just Google what do Yonder mean, and it'll tell you right there in there. Other than that, we got my favorite white boy, my guy Tommy G, back with another vlog. Well, he been doing them. I just ain't did a Tommy G video in a minute for some reason. It's out the window though. We back. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, bro. I'm a link with Tommy G, and I'm not lying. Shout out to the boy, man. I'll be, uh, I'll tell y'all in a minute. Let's get straight to the video because I got a lot to do today. Like, a lot to do today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Today we're diving into the world of scamming. Everything you're With about to trip? see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes only so you don't get scammed like there people like go, this. There you go, white boy. What would you say if you met a scammer in real life? If that's bro song, it's garbage. So it's a good thing he is a scammer. Cause yeah, if he'll depend on his music, that fool would still be on the corner of whatever block he grew up on. I ain't gonna. <laughs> I know I lost those. I can't lie to you. Was it perfect? One. I killed my tester. I gotta pay respects to my fee, Heather. She yeah, took you my can put that up here. Everything's so free today. To Whoa. Today we meet one of the most famous scammers on the internet, Punch Made Dev. He's made a name for himself as one of the biggest scam rappers on the internet with songs like How to Write a Dump and Punch Anthem. That's that's really a thing, bro? Scam rapper is not like a genre, it's not a section in music, you know what I'm saying? That... So, so if I steal candy and I rap, I'm a candy rapper? I'm, I'm, I'm being real with y'all, if I steal shoes, am I a shoe rapper? Bro, just a rapper that do scams or a scam murder rapper, right? It's my first time hearing a punch made death, but uh, I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? And Tommy G don't be dropping no bulls. On his social bro. media platforms, he flaunts an absurd amount of money Damn. and jewelry. Today, I ask him about the most common scams people are pulling right now so that we the people can better learn how to protect ourselves from scammers like him. The there goal of go. this documentary is twofold. First, to be aware of how scammers operate, and second, to encourage viewers to be the hero and not the villain. Not only is scamming a loser way to make money, but it also can carry a heavy penalty of up to 20 years in prison. The reenactments you are about to see are for educational purposes only. Viewers discretion is advised i'm hitting banks dropping checks cooking clones and cracking cars bro just look called punch made dev a loser in his video but for real with the scams i don't think i know for a fact i ain't never been that smart i know for a fact my homies ain't never been that smart because my whole life ain't nobody ever came me came at me about no scamming nothing because i would have been dead and i ain't lying he'd be broke i mean before Age 28, you know what I'm saying? I would have been up since I was down. But you remember, I was homeless at 28, bro. I ain't. The scam, what? Yeah, you can get $20. For, yep, I'm doing it. <laughs> you can say $20, you know what I mean? Cheeseburgers, that is. I'm telling y'all, bro, I was that. When I was homeless, bro, that's when the cheeseburgers used to be $129. i am not lying. I'd buy me four cheeseburgers right after 10 o'clock, right after breakfast at McDonald's. I'd buy four cheeseburgers, bro, for the day. Leave them in the car. You gotta warm them up. And they still be good for like cheeseburgers at McDonald's. If you leave them out, like on the counter or some, sh they good for 24 hours, bro. And they still taste the same. I think they taste better. It's kind of like leftover food you left in the refrigerator. Now imagine leaving your leftover food in the car. <laughs> or don't knock me. You gotta be smart in the car, bro. And when you're living in your car, you understand that you put food under the seat where it's shade at, where the sun can't hit. Under the seat is always cooler. When you living in your car, you understand that you don't sleep actually on the back seat. You sleep on the floor with stuff covering you, so it look like nobody up in there. I'm telling you, bro. Living in, we gonna get there. Our job today is to explore the most common scam that are out there. See how we can protect you, the viewer, from it, and also meet a guy that is a true internet phenomenon and character. Punch made that. We're not taking any chances with this guy. We don't know how good of a scammer he is, but I'm putting my wallet with my credit cards in the glove box. Yeah, for the big guy. Like you're out of a movie scene, dude. Like oh. character from GTA or something. I'm a fucking 99 overall. Okay, player. She got you a bond. 
What's your social security number? I got yours. <laughs> How yeah. hard is it to scam somebody with uh, just their wallet? Bro, there's actually this device. You could put it right up to your fucking like wallet. If you got that chip on it. That's what we researched and that's why we hit our yes, credit right. cards from you. <laughs> so you hit the credit card? Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> I was just gonna say, you can still get those, but uh, IRS isn't it, like entering the chat with. Cause I promise you, bro, showing burners, he's showing guns, he's showing scamming taxes, and we know, f I mean taxes. Tactics, and we know for sure he ain't paying no taxes, bro. You know what's crazy? You can look it up right now, and I think the IRS think this is that stupid, bro. Like, I don't mess around anymore. I'm talking about y'all. If you Google it right now, the IRS wants you to report your drug sales. <laughs> I'm not even lying, bro. If you, if they want you to report your, on your taxes, bro. And I promise you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. We live in a dumbass country, right? I promise you. You have a few people that actually reported it, bro, to try to get taxes back with the fucking jail. I'm not lying. We got some dumbass. I, bro, do you. Somebody did it before. <laughs> they did. I got it in my pocket like that, or like just like this on some shit. And you can just, just walk up to me and be like. My bad, bro. Oh, and then I don't got oh, everything. Yes. I got I'm Apple Pay, though. <laughs> so you can steal what? My credit card, my debit card. Anything with a chip. Now picture this. You have my credit card and debit card. You just ran my account empty. Yeah. Do you feel bad? Nah. The bank's gonna give you the money back. You ever heard of like a TLO lookup? Like if I had your first and last name, your social will come up every day. I could probably find you real quick. No, no, no. Yeah, bro, Tommy G. If, I, if it was me about this video, I would have did it, but that is a lot of information. That's why. If y'all look me up right now, y'all be like, <laughs> my day ones know my name, bro. My day ones know my name is Darrell. I'm going to just put it like that, right? They know I'm 34 years old. That's all the information I'm with. But look, if you put in what's DJ Ghost's real name, it's going to say I'm 46 years old, right? <laughs> it's going to say I'm a white man, right? It's gonna say I'm from Belgium. And then it's gonna say I died six years ago. That's all the information y'all getting. I'm not lying, bro. I don't know how I got up there. I don't know if a fan did that for me, but good looking out, because he said a TLO. All I need is your first, last, and social one. You cook, bro. You cook. You ain't trying to. <laughs> Ooh, you're 29, eh? It's your birthday? You got a criminal record. Yeah, I got arrested once. Damn, what for? I did a prank channel. I, I had a fake ball sack that I was had hanging out in my pants. And an old couple thought I was really showing them my ball sack. So they arrested me for indecent exposure. Wow. So registered uh, in the <laughs> No, I'm not a registered no, one <laughs> How do you describe yourself in the scamming world? I feel like the whole world's a scam, but they just look at me as a bad guy. If I take money from you, you're going to get the money back. Nobody's going to hurt. I mean, it would be fucked up if I sim swap you and then just start posting like some crazy shit on your Instagram. Is that possible? Yes. Do you think you're a bad guy? Nah. <sighs> I nah. the worst people. Robin Hood was well liked because he took from the rich and gave to the poor. Yeah. Do you view yourself as a modern day Robin Hood? Take from the rich and give to the poor. I really take from the poor and then the rich is me. What wallet do you <laughs> recommend to people to protect them from scammers? Bro, how is he not? Look at them chains on his neck. We in the summer, bro. You ain't skiing today. You what, what you got the little is drip goes. Man, I don't wear I don't care if it's drip or not. If it don't go, it don't go. It's too hot to be wearing ski goggles. I don't see how this fool not caught yet. He clearly saying he a scammer, bro. There's no wallet. Or if it was, I wouldn't tell nobody. Okay, so how can someone avoid that wallet scam? They you can't. Apple Pay, I guess. So just oh, that's why I just said I got Apple Pay. Yeah. yeah. That's the only way to avoid it. Yeah. How much does this thing cost? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight thousand dollars just for the pendant. How can I tell this is real? Oh, you're gonna rock. You're gonna get a diamond sister. We can go to the jewelry store. Not sure how legal this all is, but YouTube, this is educational purposes, a documentary. For the don't ban time. this. Don't the strike this. Time. Don't age restrict it. Let me show the people what they need to see to protect themselves. So is there like an exit strategy in the scammer world? Because I feel like your your clock's ticking. My clock's ticking. I mean, eventually, right? I mean, even Al Capone got got. You know. I'm not Al Capone. I'm Punch Made Dev, undefeated. What's your guys' take on scamming? Oh, the, the government scamming. They doing build a billion dollar scam. What's the little millions and shit we take? What's that gonna hurt? All right, guys. He's saying he taking millions and he got a little smile on his face. Yeah, man. They doing build a billion dollar scam. What's the little millions and shit we take? What's that gonna hurt? All right, guys, millions. let's hit the bank. What are you guys thinking? My bullshit detector's going off a little bit. That's fake bling, I feel like. 
it had like that tin can rattle to it. I never <laughs> called <laughs> Tracks NYC and gotta watch the white people, bro. <laughs> no, nah, just playing. Homies do that too. Black people do it too. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, they was up in there dripping, but that seemed like the ten k jewelry. I mean, that, that, that new shit. They had that six k. What's that six k goes? The new fakes. All right, let's take it back. It was like that. Five. He, they had that 1K jewelry. You know what type of shit? Like, it looked good on the mannequin, on the table when the jewelry was showing you and all that. But as soon as it get wet or your sweat hit it, it's going to go back to metal. That's what they're trying to say their jewelry is, bro. I don't think so. I think that jewelry is that 14K diamonds bust. They... I think all oh, that's is real. See if he can tell us if punch yes. stuff is real or yeah. fake. Hey, I'm, a, I'm about to film someone doing something sketchy at a bank, but I need, I'm need i trying to find out how I can t tell if something's a fake diamond or not. We're with Punch Made Dev, and he has allegedly quarter million dollars of bling on his neck, and I want to call tracks and see how oh, we know if he's legit quick. or not. Do you have any, like, photos of Andy Lasky and bro, they go try you. Yeah. Send me the photos, and then I'll let you know. Cool, all right, sounds good. What the hell are you doing right now? I'm about to hit a wire. What does that mean? Log in and um, wire some money up. I'm just trying to learn how to scale. That's what Tommy's trying to no, do. No, the, the goal of this episode is to learn how to protect the people at home from this. These type fools of rolling around with a how computer. How much do you clean this guy out? If they'll give me 20, I'll do it. What's going to happen? You're going to walk in there. Yeah. You're going to wire transfer money to yourself from someone else's account. How quick is all this going to happen? You think? 10 minutes. Have you ever known someone that's been scammed? Bro, how real is this? Let's keep it 100. Let's keep it 100. Cause if he's this smart, he knowing that we can we got a slider to get your debit cards. Um this, that, that, and this. Why are you walking up in the bank with your face doing wire transfers to get you on tape? Bro, I what if I think these niggas is plants. Don't be like them, bro. What well, I don't even think they real scammers now, bro. Is they or ain't they? Let's keep it 100, because they up here talking about we taking millions. They ain't gonna do nothing, bro. They none of them in jail. They fuck. Huh? I think that's scamming Tom and G to make it look like they some real scammers and they not. Are they government plans? It's one of the two. I don't, I don't. How this happen? These fools not. If they not in jail tomorrow, bro, this is scam. Let's keep it 100. Let's keep it 100. No, but I've almost been scammed myself. How, how did you almost get scammed? Well, I mean, people call you every day. With Somebody called me yesterday and told me I had $2,500 worth of vacation Man, we ain't talking points. about that shit. Get up out of here. I've never signed up for anything. She ain't, she ain't been to a hood there. We talking about some real scamming. <laughs> Your bank account got licked by the homie. She talking about when well, they call me for a travel brochure. What the fuck about? They told me I had twenty five hundred dollars and I won a sweepstakes. Take your ass through that that, that Starbucks drive through. Like man, you get old girl, get the home girl. Okay. What should be the punishment for a scammer? There Probation. Should definitely be a punishment. I don't know what the punishment should be. A jury. Yeah, that's a. A jury should determine that. A jury should determine what a scammer gets. No. Second, you don't know what the punishment of a scammer is. She not even in that realm in this world, bro. She looking at like a ticket or probation. That's where her mind is at. She don't even. Jury should determine that. Fair enough. Has anyone attempted to scam you before? Yes. How do they do it? Watch this. Uh, with my debit. And what happened to you when they tried to scam you? Uh, I just found a charge on my debit card that I didn't do. Ooh, this was in Arizona. <laughs> How much was it for? It wasn't a lot. It was only about $80. Did the bank refund you? We did. What should be the punishment for scammers? I'm not sure. Yeah, that one don't count either. So what? <laughs> that one don't count either, bro. It's in there, man. We ain't talking about... No, $80. You just forgot you bought something. No, that was your son. That was some V-Bucks. We talking about a real, yeah, I got scammed. For real what? For $80. Man, I wouldn't even, that ain't even a story. See, I got their balance right there, 430K. I'm about to wire that to this account that I got my hands on. I'm going to try to just do a quick 10 real quick. Look, uh, on this video, though. I'm only taking 10 racks instead of 20. Ain't no, hey, Tommy G, I'll show you some of this, but take some of this out the video. They ain't doing none of that, bro. Is this real for real? If it is, y'all fools are stupid. Like, beyond stupid. All the evidence. <laughs> what they gonna do? If they do get caught, try to hire a lawyer. Go ahead and waste your money for no reason. Even the lawyer gonna look at it like, bro, you going to jail, but I take the money to fake look like I'm trying to get you out. I ain't, 
I don't see how niggas is doing this on 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 the internet. Only and then look at your accomplice. All right, let's do it. And if they do go to jail, they can die, uh, call Tommy G. Uh, get on the stand. Hey, bro, wasn't you filming this whole thing when they went in the bank and whoop 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 and whoop whoop whoop? I hope this is just for play and for the internet, like they said. Like money. Okay, okay. Tommy, nice to meet you. Your love. Why do you think scamming become so popular? Fast. What know. do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years, to back broke, and now you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How and you don't want to scam me, either. don't listen to this fool. Don't listen to this fool. He'll be in jail or broke. You know what I'm saying? Once you scamming money, it's not longevity, bro. That money don't work for you while you sleep. You want money to work for you while you sleep. You want money to work for you while you're on vacation. You want money to work for you when you're not working, bro. You want your money to come in all your life. When you're scamming, bro, the only time you're getting money is when you get on there and do a lick real quick. How you said doing that transaction for that 40K or whatever, that's only right then and there. So they coming tomorrow, and they coming next month, and they coming next year, and they coming five years from then. Every time they want some money, they got to do a lick. And like they always say with the criminals, you have to get lucky every time. The police only got to get lucky one time, bro. Then your ass is washed. I can't believe they putting this on the internet, bro. That is crazy to me. Beyond crazy to me. How long do you guys want to be in the game for before you're... I, I want to be like probably 30, then the best. Forever, nigga. And what? Time? You be in the prison cell. Thank you. Dirty than the best. Forever, nigga. Three in his hand, one right there. Four stacks. That's at the highest ten thousand a stack. That's forty thousand dollars. I thought he said he went in there to wire four hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Or did he say he was wiring the money to himself and he was withdrawing money out? Why would you go in there and buy it? Thank you. Free 10. Let me sniff it to make sure. Yeah, go ahead. That is not $310,000, bro. What are you going to do with this $10,000? Oh, it's $10,000. I'm not going to say. So he got... This is another thing for the camera, bro. If you get $10,000 out the bank, they either give you that one whop or give it to you all in hundreds. Bro specifically told him to give him $10,020 so he can have five stacks. Everybody that get money from the bank know that, bro. They not finna just go ahead and give you 20s off top. They not, bro. He asked for that. Not the 50s, he the 24 fatter stack. This is... I'm gonna uh, give it back. What's the most amount of money you ever walked out of a bank with? 70,000. How did that feel? It felt good. It felt amazing. I went about a chain with it. We're gonna head to a gas station next and show you the next scam to avoid. It's crazy. Shout out Tommy Jeezy. just Jeez. got a message from Mickey. They're probably real. Might be more than a quarter million dollars. What? And um, on his Instagram, the one with all like the MasterCards, I think I saw like a different jeweler actually post them who made them like a while ago. So yeah, it's real. Sorry, punch fake oh. dad, we thought you were fake. You know who tracks NYC is? Yeah. I asked him if your shit was fake, guess what he said? He said it's real. Oh, he got me. Tracks NYC, you owe my boy Nico a fag. Yeah, I watch Nico. Y'all know I got watches galore. Tracks NYC. You owe Nico Litter the fag. Bro need it bad. ASAP. He want a box bad. ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you said it's real, though. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. He got my back, man, you know. Ain't no denying that. This is why I thought I was fake, with the clunking sound. Every change don't sound like that. Don't sound like that. A lot you of heavy, heavy change. I will admit like that, that I was wrong. Plus, I know nothing about bling. 
So we're getting into skimmers yeah. and dumps. And dumps. what's a dump? So say if I wanted to write up a dump, right? I would get a track one, oh, uh, a 101 or a 201. So I get the information off my site. You can use the white blanks, but this one's better because it got a whole face. Like, this is the big boy one. The one right here, this is the blue tube. They brought it around with that shit. So. How much does this cost? Can't be no more than like 100. And how much is this major? It's like over 500K. So if someone says they're a certified dumper, this is what they're talking about. They could either be the person getting the dumps with the skimmer, or they could be the person writing them up using them. All right, what's say the like, dump, I know bro? somebody know working at McDonald's, right? I'll give them a skimmer and they work through the drive through To say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay, right? And then my person will. I'm scared, bro. Apple Pay for the rest of my life. Apple Pay for the. So you mean, bro, saying that you can actually. Okay, yeah, welcome to McDonald's. What we'll the whoop? Yeah, let me get a number two and a uh, high sheet orange. They brought the high sheet orange back fire. They, they took that out for a couple years, but I'm present and I got it back up at McDonald's. For sure. Anyway, let me get a high sheet. Let me get two high sheet orange. Two high sheet oranges, bro. Daddy, what about me? Oh, yeah, and a Happy Meal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you be telling me when I get up to the window, bro, this thing with these nappy ass dreads, where the hell, bro, right here. Can go ahead and say, the McDonald's read the card reader. Let me put a Punch Made Dev card reader right here and just slide the customers through here. And I can just go ahead and get my food and leave. For one, I don't think that's all the way a scam. Because if you slide your card and he only ringing up the amount that you um, of, the food, of the food that you pay for, then um, that's a loss on McDonald's. I pay, I, look, I pay $19 to McDonald's or to somebody, as long as I get my phone. <laughs> but if they up there, bro, saying my food is $19 and I slide my car and they charging me $100, that's where the scam come in. I'm gonna keep it real, I don't feel sorry for McDonald's. They got over 50 billion served. Man, you give me some money. The hell? Yeah, Quickly go like this, right swiping on the, uh, from my end, and that's when I get all the info. End of the day, I have like a list of like 20 of them. I'm about to wipe this one empty, I'm about to write up a dump on it for y'all. Oh yeah. That is a scam. Never mind. <laughs> Bro, I'm taking all my info. Is the FBI looking into you? Because how are you not in federal prison at this yeah. point? Yeah! I know what I'm doing. You got a VPN, a proxy server, RDP. They not because I know what I'm doing. What about after this? Imagine this video being on a TV screen, the 75 inch. And all the people that's watching it is FBI agents at the office in their room with their coffee just looking like, yeah, we finna smack it. Do you really want that smoke for a YouTube video? I don't want to be a famous illegal nothing. Gang banker, drug, well, gang banking is illegal, but drug dealing, trafficking, selling guns, bro, scamming, whatever. I don't, this is just 2023. Y'all should have been bored when I was bored, bro. Y'all wouldn't be like this. I'm telling you, you would not be like this. And it's the way someone family. stops this is by hitting lock on their bank account, right? Yeah. So as far as scamming goes, are you feel like your NBA level scammer? Oh, I'm, I'm like LeBron of the scammer and Michael Jordan combined. Does yeah. your mother know you're a scammer? Imagine hearing that in the courtroom <laughs> on the video. <laughs> your lawyer cannot say, Mike, look, my client has never been a scammer. Look at all the utensils you got, bro. Look at all the products, all the scamming, whatever you got. Then you just said you Michael Jordan and LeBron of this shit. Ghost, why you keep getting up? Because y'all know my camera, bro. I'll be mad if I'm talking to a dead camera. I'll be hot when I'm talking to a dead camera. Nah, I tell her I do crypto. All right, so now I got the numbers plugged in. I'm about to run this through. So now I just wrote somebody else's info on here. How much money is on that card? This one got about like a $600 balance. Wherever y'all went, we're about to go get everything for free real quick. Are they gonna eat this cost or the bank eat this cost? The bank's gonna eat it. They really gonna- You're sure. For something small like this, that was a wire that'd be like 10 to 14. So this is when you get a message on your phone. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, was this you? And you yeah. just say no, and then they reimburse you. Give it back in like less than 24 hours. It tastes better, it feels better when it's free. How <laughs> does it? I'm gonna spend my own hard-earned money. They can spend the, the other guy's money. There you Has go. Has anyone there ever you tried go. to scam you before? No, we... Yeah, of course. In what way? Well, how do they try and do it? Oh, I got almost scammed on a puppy thing online. I'm getting tired of that ass. They just go go talk to some, go talk to somebody black. I'm gonna get tired of all these weak ass scam stories. I almost got scammed for a puppy online. I almost got scammed for some shoestrings. I almost got scammed because I almost got scammed. Like shut the. F this is crazy as hell. I'm, I'm drinking some lemonade right now. Hold on. 
Mm -hmm. They got some food. Mm -hmm. Where bro at? In Calabasas. Because these scamming stories ain't hidden how they're supposed to be hidden. He asked three people already. And I don't edit my videos, but I would have edited them out of my mind. Hey, damn, she said a puppy thing online. Fuck, I'm supposed to say to that? And you go. Damn. You had to pay a down payment for a puppy and then there was no puppy? They were trying to with like fake pictures and then I just canceled it because I said this feels like a scam. What? So he asked, have you ever got scammed? Baby, you almost got scammed. Next story. No, but almost. You could have left it at that. No, but almost. With a puppy there. Damn. What do you think should happen to a scammer if they get caught? I mean, there should be some sort of legal repercussion. What do you think? That's tough to say. What but... would you say if you met a scammer in real life? You'd probably punch him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> do it. Well, if I get Cap. Cap, do it. And in the next 24 hours, I'll be calling you guys for help, yeah, okay? Yeah, we got you back. Okay, cool, thank you. <laughs> uh, everything's free for everybody today. What? Really? Yeah. Thank you. I would love some white owl white grape, please. Oh, well, anything, everything. She fake as hell. I'm not alive. They just had this whole scamming story, this whole scamming story. Let's put two and two, not only that, let's put three and three together. You got a guy up in there with a camera. Asking you about scamming, right? Right. Then you sitting there talking about scamming, what you would do to a scammer. I'll punch one, right? And then a scammer, a guy, walks up to the window and say, everything up in the store is free. And then you say what you want. Bitch, you know that's a scammer. Like, stop trying to cap. If you say you will punch a scammer, why are you going to let him buy you something? Let's keep it 100. He using somebody else's money. It could be your money, remember? Like, come on, man. You, you smarter than that. You white. You you got you 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 a little she she and she a little educated I can tell in her head fire I can tell that too <laughs> no, I can tell that too let's be real school shooter right there right corner <laughs> I'm not look how you looking bro we caught him screenshot this squad because we gonna need to post this in about a year and a half that boy right there is one of the <laughs> why. His name, Nick, for sure. For sure. He almost got the camera view, too. He looked like Dylan Roof. How'd he cut? His name, Nick Roof. That's just how I feel. His name, Nick Roof, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I would love some white owl white grape, please. Oh, anything, everything's free today. Go get some. Go get your oh, get 30 oh, seconds. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's cool. I love uh, that. Ma'am, you can put that up here. Everything's free today. I know, I said the same thing. <laughs> they call him what? Punch May Dev. Okay, who is he? Punch May Dev, how do you describe yourself? A great person. Uh, Very caring. Uh, also, nice. he would describe himself as a rapper and a scammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Internet's most famous. Okay. What now? Sexy. <laughs> what the hell? You said you would punch a scammer. Now that you know, what you gonna do? Not punch him and still let him buy your stuff. Cap. My scammer. Oh goodness. Well, good for him. He's doing good doing it, I guess. <laughs> that touched. The duality of man, folks. The yin and yang of life, huh? We just went into a and he came out with ten thousand dollars cash. It works. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate it. it. It's funny how their tune changes as soon as exactly. the scammer's helping them. They don't care. Exactly. Punch him. <laughs> Which I could see why people are complicated. You know, people are very complicated. I heard the guy that's card that is was working hard at McDonald's for ten hours for that money. Oh yeah, he's working very hard. He's running his credit. This is directly from his song. The clerk let you. Bro, I thought credit ain't need ID and debit. They don't. Sue the store. Wipe the car after you jam the chip. The after it ain't working two times, she'll let you use the strip. It didn't decline? Uh, no, it didn't decline. I never know. His music is so garbage, bro. I can. <clears throat> That's a hobby. 
that's a hobby. The scamming money make him look like he popping in the music, but that's a, bro, music is like top tier, like garbage though. You know what I'm saying? There's no shade to him. It's like, it's a lot of y'all think it's dope. I'm talking about my preference. Imagine hearing that, like, No, no, I just never heard nobody say, hey, put on that Punch Made Death. And I can kind of see what, not kind of see, see, let me just leave it alone, because it sounds like I'm, I'm, I'm clowning homie, like the bro music, and I'm not, you know what I'm saying? It just they keep on playing clips, like, like it's hot, and it's not. It ain't. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, shit. Like that. Sometimes they Probably. try to make you use the chip, but that's why you just jam the chip and make it yeah. make it purposely decline. So what you just did, you follow a step by step of your own instruction yes. from the song. How is an ordinary person stop that from happening to them? There's no way. Just if, if you, you use your card, debit card, yeah. shut the bank off right away. Yeah, but it's not even you losing it though. You'll just go like you'll go pay for it somewhere, or I have somebody at an inside like a McDonald's, and they'll swipe that through, and then card info is mine. So the next scam we're gonna people. go into is the skimmer. They'll put a scammer on top of this. I mean, a skimmer on top of this. It's mainly the one in the store too. Like the one that I just used, you'll have another like, it's quick. Like somebody will pull up and just plop it on quick and you won't even know. So would you know, if you walked up to a one with a skimmer, would you know? Yeah, I would know. So you can tell. Yeah. Where's the next spot we're pulling up to? We could punch that piece in. You guys, what's going through your head right now? We've seen a few scams. It was pretty much step by step like you described in the Where the hell is this thing come from? <laughs> and it's really step by step right to go. Bro, where was you? You been at this whole time. Is this the one that's holding the camera? Where, bro, where did this Wrong. come from? Just make it decline twice and then swipe it. He literally did his own playbook in front of us. Yeah. It's just crazy how easy In front of it all is. of us. It doesn't feel as bad when you're stealing from banks. Like, if I knew that he was causing people to get evicted or not be able to pay rent or not be able video. to afford their kids, I'd be really pissed and want to strangle him. But I don't, I'm not mm. as angry that he's scamming a bank. I feel like everybody's like got to foot the cost G, eventually. So, like, I feel like that's just getting passed on to the, the consumer. It's kind of like the hood Mr. Beast. He's <laughs> <laughs> kind of the hood Mr. Beast. <laughs> Mr. Beast. Chaotic, evil Mr. Beast. I love that. The hood Mr. Beast. Mr. Punch Mr. Beast. Everybody listen up. It's a punch lesson. Going Here we go. <laughs> we don't need no lessons for punch, bro. Well, yes, we do. We need them scabbing lessons for sure, but I'm talking about here we go with the music, bro. I ain't even. Uh, I know when it came off. I mean, when it go off. Get a fire card in sight. Go to the dump section. Never get a. It's off. How many pizzas have you punched from this place? Domino's ain't really my first choice, but... If you're gonna steal a pizza, I feel like this is like the, the sea Bro, level all place to steal from. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to call them, I'm about to uh, order like six, seven pizzas, and then they're gonna ask for the car details over the phone, I'm gonna give it to them. You just give someone else's car. Yeah. Pick up. Can they ask the name for the order? Kane, can I get a large cheese pizza? One Fried months or maybe pizza, some sausage uh, pizza? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One large pepperoni. One large sausage. Yeah. One large sausage, so. This will be $54.09. Yeah, so I could punch it? Yeah. The action is successful. So you just punch the pizza? Yeah, punched a couple pizzas for free. How can Domino's protect themselves from people like you? They, they can't. can't, they just gotta hope. People like they you just don't want the money. Should we do an ATM and then pick up the pizzas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hit the ATM. See, that's the thing. They can't take the money from Domino's, though. You know what I'm saying? Even if the police found out they did it, they Domino's legit. They had a legit card to Domino's. This. All right, we're hitting bro, the ATM. I'm so dumb for doing this. I'm about to show you how to use a clone card real quick. Easy money, man. They all should be looking like that. Right, let's get Voila. It's like magic. All right, so what the hell just happened? We just pieced up a chip, took it into the ATM, and cleared that. I had my runner going there, cleared that hell out. When we pull up in a ski mask to a bank, do you think that sets off any alarms? Why well, you had your runner going to Yeah, bank. but it's too late by the time we leave. Did you notice the two Lexington police officers yeah, in a nearby yeah. parking lot? Down the street, yeah, I've seen them, yeah. They'd be there all the time. You just gotta know your area. The theme I'm getting with all these scams is the only way to now stop it is just area. don't let your stuff get. They, that shit is stupid, bro. They be there all the time. You gotta know the area. So Lexington police gonna see this. By him saying they be there all the time, the police gonna know that he lived there. Like how he know we be here all the time? They be in a white car. 
They know exactly how you look, bro. They can get your name. This one thing a lot of people don't know, bro, then this is crazy to me. This is so crazy to me. Forget facial recognition. We all know about that, you know what I'm saying? The police can see your face on video, they can pause it, take your face, put it in the screen, find out your name and everything, right? But now, as of four years ago, a lot of y'all don't know this. I said four years ago, seven years ago. Bro, do you know you can commit a crime today, right? And it's why, even if you ain't gonna leave no fingerprints, bro, still wear gloves. If you know you don't need gloves, still wear gloves. Do you know today, just like facial, uh, facial recognition, you could do a crime. Say I do a crime, right? And I'm about to leave, and I'm about to reach for the door. They could pause that, take my fingerprints, and run it in the APHIS system. What's APHIS, goes? APHIS is Automatic Fingerprinting Identification System. That's going to run it everywhere in the world, bro. Not just your city, not just your state, not just the country. Everywhere. And your ass will get caught. You will get caught, bro. This right here is so... Sh I ain't never seen nothing so dumb in my life. I'm not lying to you. Never. I'm not lying to you. Stolen? Yeah. If you lose your card, tell the bank to lock it, and the bank will reimburse you if someone like you strikes. Yeah, the only thing is if like somebody was to wire out more than a quarter million out of your bank account, the government, they only uh, protect up to 250,000. FDIC insured yeah. up to 250K. Yeah. If it's no more than 250K, you're good. People that are watching this that say, Punch Made Dev is a piece of shit. What do you say to them? I say, you, I probably scammed you, or I will soon. What are the ah. consequences for scamming? Like, what what are the penalties someone can face for this? It could be a whole bunch of factors. A wire fraud is already one. I mean, you could do up to like 20 plus years. Wire fraud years. is a federal case, right? Yeah. So how are you not scared to let us into your world today? I know what I'm doing. Does anyone in your crew have a normal job? No. If he's still out, he say, you know what he's doing? I mean, the police don't know what they're doing. There's no way he blatantly doing all this. None of you guys do nine to fives? Yeah, no. Nah. Why would they? It's free money. I mean, you got to have a way to cover it up, you know? Some of us do videos. Some of us rap. Some of us sell clothes. And he's saying that it's a cover-up. Is this your dream job? This is my dream job. Just... How long do you plan on being <laughs> this game? Forever. It's really, I don't really You're going to be a grandpa scamming people? Yeah, I'm going to be 70 years old, still walking in and out the bank. When your kids get old enough to see what you've done on the internet, what do you think you're going to tell your kids? I'm going to tell them life isn't supposed to be taken so seriously. So just enjoy it and have fun. If you wanted to buy a home or a rental property. Take life serious, bro. Some of these fools is giving bad advice, especially old boy in the back right there. He been giving bad advice every time he talk. Watch this. Pretty with this money, you think you could do that? I have a home. Have a home. Yeah, I got a, a big ass crib, movie theater, everything in there. I got marble I floors, five bedrooms upstairs. I got two bedrooms downstairs, hey, the no, gym, movie theater upstairs, a pool in the backyard. Right. You can see my closet right here a little bit. You got the closet you recently came out of? Either this fool a government plan or he going to prison very soon. Hashtag Pride Mon. Our pizza's probably ready. It's time to get our pizzas. Sorry, Domino's. Have you ever encountered people scamming their way into pizzas? Yes. How do they do that? They lie. They lie about everything. How can Domino's protect itself against scammers? You put their number in the system, block them. Yeah. It's a good thing I got multiple numbers. That's how you punch a pizza. She said we take the number off the system. Sorry, Domino's. It's this guy. Free pizza. What percent of your food do you guys actually pay for? Maybe five percent. <laughs> if you guys did this to a mom and pop shop, would you feel bad? Nah. Hell no. How old are you, Dad? Below 25. How old were you when you first started doing stuff like this? Like 15. And what was the first scam you ever pulled? Yeah, it was like e whoring I would get like a pictures of like a, a girl I knew or somebody on the internet that looked like a regular girl though. You don't want to get like fucking Ruby Rose or oh, something e like that. E-whoring. Yeah, e-whoring. Post it all on Tinder, all them dating apps, and I'd be like, add me on Snap, but then I'll sell like a premium and shit like that. That shit was ass though, like just texting like niggas all day. I ain't like doing that. That probably takes forever. <laughs> bro, do anything for the dollar. That's crazy, bro. And y'all fools is stupid if y'all be falling for that, man. I promise you. You gotta. It's 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 certain ways you can tell if a female is real or not. I be getting hit like thirty times a day with fake females, and I can tell if they real or not. You know what I'm saying? You fools just be, just be at home on the hub all day, bro, and happy somebody hitting you up and then get licked for your cheese. Stupid. Stupid.
Yeah, and it was slower too. So you impersonate a decently hot chick, mm -hmm. pretending to send exclusive Snapchats mm -hmm. to thirsty guys out there. And I do meetups too. I'll be like uh, 300 for a meetup. And people will literally drive like three to four hours away. But he wants me to tell him what car he's in so he knows like I'm actually there to female. So he'll pull up to the fucking uh, cul-de-sac. He was like, he was in a white bin. So I was like, I see you in the white bin. He was like, can I just come in and then pay you after? I was like, nah, send the money up front. It's like late at night too. And then uh, he sent it and I told him I didn't get it. I told him send it again. He sent it again. He was like, this is my last. I'm literally going negative and I won't have any gas to get home. I swear to God. And then uh, he sent that. And you I didn't just, feel bad at this point? No, nah, I, I rolled up the window and yeah, I yelled, it's the fucking bad. police. And nigga drove off. I wouldn't feel bad. Bro. He was down to his last yeah. while driving a Benz. Yeah. So what do you think about some people's financial priorities? Like I feel like some people is yeah. they live above their means. One of my pet peeves is littering. <laughs> what the hell is this? We gotta feed birds. Yeah. The birds not eat. Yeah, I'm just feeding the animals. How much do you think right, this range cost? That was sixteen. Sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah, from Johnny. Okay, so we're here at the Airbnb you have for the day. You're gonna show us the last scam of the day. A big wave right now is Cash up. This one's going crazy. Do 55 eight. So 55,000. Literally that simple. And how did you do that? Gotta pay for the size, man, but, and I can cash that out. All right, I don't really know what just happened. <laughs> this is what I do know. We just gave you a how-to video, how to avoid getting scammed, right? Yeah, how to avoid getting scammed, educational purposes. I encourage everybody to make money in a legitimate fashion, Me in a too. way that you can Me look too. yourself in the mirror, be proud of what you're doing. So folks, we just looked into the, the life of the internet's most- A lot of y'all could be proud even scamming, doing everything illegal. You could be proud of what you're doing, but I promise you that won't last long. I promise you that won't last long. It's one thing to be on the run from the police, but it's another thing to think the police is coming for you. That's another, like, that's a different type of anxiety. Every time you go to sleep, everything you do, when the police get behind you, they just on their way home from work, or they about to clock in, but you think they about to pull you. It ain't cool, bro. Get the money the real way, the organic way, I promise you. I done did it illegal before, it only lasts for a few years. Until you end up homeless, like, <laughs> nah, but, it, it, it's, it's, get it the real way, man. You'll be proud of yourself. Your mama will be proud of you. Your kids will be proud of you. Life will, life, life will reward you. You know what I'm saying? It would. You ain't got to scam, man. Most famous scammer, Punch Made Dev. Thanks for joining us. I'm great. We'll that music, my boy. Peace. Rest of y'all, I'm going to get at y'all, Tommy G. Be careful. Be careful, bro. Everybody else, y'all be careful too. Love y'all. Till next time. 100.